Hi all. To date there are over 1200 community plugins available for Moodle, submitted by over 690 contributors, individuals and Moodle partners alike. With more and more plugins submitted on a regular basis, community members have been asking for specific features and more information about the plugins and how they can be used. So at Moodle HQ a year ago we started a project which aimed to achieve two things, improve the user interface and the experience of the plugin directory and also leverage the latest functionality of Moodle Core to actually power the plugin directory. So today we go live with a new version of the plugin database. Through initial research into the look and feel of similar sites globally, we analyzed recommended patterns of UI development and through building and testing with a number of prototypes, we have come up with this new first version. With this new interface, you can expect the following from the Moodle plugin directory. Firstly, you get a modernized front page, which shows all of the plugins in panels or cards. Secondly, and most importantly, you get access to a new filter, which is called Purpose. This is a tag which is assigned to each of the different plugins, which gives you the ability to search based on the purpose. You can choose administration and see administrative plugins. You can choose collaboration and see plugins which have been developed for collaboration. Again, you can also choose interface and get interface related plugins. This tagging enables Moodle users to look and find the right plugin based on their requirements. However, you can still also search by plugin type and Moodle version. You can also now filter and order your results. You can order them by using the relevance to your search, the number of sites they're installed on, the number of downloads they have, the number of fans or favorites that have been made on the plugin, and whether they've been recently updated or recently added. The new plugin interface will go live today, and we are going to be looking for feedback from everyone about the new system and any improvements you can suggest. Thank you.